Hey everyone. Um, I'm at my camper for the weekend and it's early Sunday morning. And um, hey everyone, how are you guys doing? So it is early Sunday morning and I am out at my camper this weekend. I'm just sitting here by myself. I have really enjoyed almost, this is my third day here and I think I'm going to stay one more night. I don't have to be back home till tomorrow, so I'm not sure if I'm going home tonight or tomorrow. I still have a couple more videos I'd like to make. But, um, this is gonna go on my Blessed Be the Family channel. Um, you guys, this is my family channel. It contains all the videos from when I was married. And when I first went through my divorce, I got mad and said everything to private so nobody could see my videos. And once my divorce was finalized, I went ahead and put everything back to public on my videos. And I'm so glad I did. I am sitting here and I'm watching my videos and just thinking of my family and I'm sitting here bawling my eyes out actually um, thinking of my children and what a divorce has done to my children um, I think it's affected the children more than it has even me, which is very sad. I'm looking at all the videos of us as a family and videos of all the things that were taken away from my children. Just the whole family unit being one as a family. Um, has destroyed each one of my kids individually in different ways. I'm watching these videos and looking at my 19 year old who is now going to be a father. And I'm looking at him and I'm thinking of the lack of father he's had in his life. The the role model that he needed and that he thought he had in my husband um, he's just devastated uh, to think that now that he's going to be a father this very well could happen to him and his family and he wants to be a good dad. And I do understand it's new and it's fresh for him. But he's struggling with how to be a father, how to be a leader. I'm looking at my middle kid, who's 14 now. I'm watching videos of him and his birthday parties, how we all went to the lake for his birthday. His birthday's in July, so we always did something for his birthday in the summertime. And uh, most of his birthdays have been videoed and are here on Blessed Be The Family channel. He's He's torn because he really, really looked up to my husband as a father. And he trusted him. And he's very, very angry. Very angry. My eight-year-old 
I just sit here and cry because he was so freaking cute. <laughs> and most of our videos are me and him or of him because I was a stay at home mom with him and I just want to say if my husband's watching this video even though we didn't want this divorce and me and the kids are just devastated I want to thank you for letting me be at home with my kids for the time period that you did it was these videos that I have now as my memories because some of these things I forget and I'm so glad I had them on video um Most of these videos are Blessed Be The Family channel, but it's under my name, Carrie Anderson. If you guys want to watch them. I'm looking at all the videos that I made for my husband. And this is, you know, most of these videos were, I was just a newbie at YouTube. And I, they're not very good, but they're home videos. And... The one I just got done watching was for my husband that I made for him for his birthday. And the things I say on it. Is how I looked at him. How I viewed him as a man. It says that he's a family man. I can no longer say that. But I always viewed him as a family man. I say I love him. And the next video after that was when he gave me my she shed as a gift. And it's... It's all different now. How each one of us see him is completely different. I look at these videos and I see how my husband was so unhappy. I We tried everything to love him. And I'm thinking of people who battle depression. And when they feel worthless. And uh, I think my husband battled that our whole marriage. Um, and it was nothing to do with me. It was, he was unhappy. Because I'm looking at these videos. Half of them he's not even in. And when he is, he's, daz he's in a daze. And I think mentally, in his own mind, he was very unhappy. And I look at these videos and I see that he's trying so hard to be a family. And I'm trying and I'm seeing that he's trying really, really hard to love us and he just couldn't do it. I sat here this morning and watched my pastor and he's was talking about um why do bad things happen um to good, good people like christians and it's all about sin and you know where's god when all this happens and it's part of his plan you know, I know that my ex-husband watches my videos. 
and I wanted to make this video specifically for him. I don't know if he was at church today. Um, my son's over at his cousin's house, from what I was told. But you know, I I loved our family so much. And I look at the last couple of years and me and my boys are still a family. Nothing's changed. As a matter of fact, it's almost like I was married because um, I didn't realize. I knew for a very long time my husband was unhappy. Like I said in my other videos, I, I knew he didn't love me three weeks after we were married. And I think over the years, it just got worse and worse and worse over. He just couldn't show me he loved me. He didn't know how. And I tried, I tried to tell him how, you know, but you can't change people. The thing the pastor was talking about is everybody has free will and love is a choice. And you have to choose to love and you have to choose to forgive. And I'm making this video to say I, I choose to forgive and I choose to love. I choose to love my husband, even though our family has been ripped apart. God was telling me to continue to love him and I know why. Um, You know, I thought for the longest time it was real hard for me to love him. Because I've just been so hurt. But this weekend alone, this was our camping spot. We got this property out here for the boys. I'm so glad I got it. I'm so glad I'm making my dream a reality out here for my children. And I'm loving every minute of it. And the kids love it. And it's coming together. I still have to get out there and weed eat. But it's been so hot this weekend. I haven't been able to get out there. But I'm doing a lot of things inside the camper. It looks like a home in here. It's so nice. I'm really loving it. Watching these videos just tells me that I did everything right in my marriage. I honored him. I mean, I even honored him, my husband, on, on these videos. Um, there's a Valentine's Day video that I made. There's a video I made when our child was born, and it was Father's Day. Made videos of our family together and him doing things with the kids, even though it was fake and it was awkward. And it looks really, really like he was trying so hard. And I realized that after listening to my pastor today, when you're not right with God, your actions on your love, people can tell that you've chosen to not love. And your actions are showing your relationship with Christ. And you know, I've made videos 
talking about the fruit of the spirit, talking about how do you show love? Because love is patient. Love is kind. Love is understanding. Love is not jealous. Like, I'm not jealous that my husband's dating again. Um, you know, I, I'm hurt. And I feel like the lifestyle that he's wanting to live is something I don't want to be a part of. Um, I don't want to be part of drug addicts. I don't want to have a life with my kids with alcoholics. I don't want to live in a house where the dad's not home because he's at AA meetings. By my husband filing for divorce, he did me a favor. He really did. And no matter how bad it hurts, he actually has done the kids a favor. Because now the kids know. The kids know the truth. Even my own eight-year-old, his father, you know, it's his father. And he makes comments all the time about... you know, being a man and he's eight and he knows these things, what a man should be, what a man should do. He's made comments about his mom being left alone and crying and hurt. And I've tried to keep the pain away from my kids, but I'm so happy that I've been able to show them too at the same time that you know, God's my husband, and he's the one who's who I'm going to choose to love. I mean, I choose to love my husband, but if he's not right with God, I can't be with him. That's all there is to it. And I think this divorce was specifically to keep me from harm's way of destruction. And I want to talk about, you know, people who are depressed, who are mentally um, not right. It's not an excuse to not love and not follow God and what his word says. If you're in that situation and, and you're depressed or you have high anxiety or you... Um, or if you feel like you're just not, God's not there for you, you need to get help. You need to get counseling. You need to be active in your church. I think one thing I've seen over the last couple of years with my husband is it was all about what he wanted. It wasn't about what was right. And I should have, you know, <laughs> the pastor was talking today about how you should see these things happening, but you're okay when everything's okay. It's um, after the fact you go through a trial or a tribulation in your life that you start to think, you know, you look back in hindsight and you and you know that things weren't right. And that's where I'm at. Um, I knew things weren't right. There was sin in our marriage uh, that my husband brought into the marriage. He's never been honest with anybody about that sin. Not even me. Um, I knew about it. I participated in it. And it's destroyed our marriage. It's destroyed our family. I was sitting here watching the videos and I was just crying out to God. I hate divorce. And I heard God say, I do too. It's not what 
he intends for us is to have broken families. But it's Satan who comes in and he uses that, especially if one of you is a Christian and you're unequally yoked. Satan will come in and he'll he'll attack and it's it's a lot of times it's it's not the non-believer that he'll attack non-believers doing what they want to do they feel satisfaction like my husband he's dating this other girl and they're happy and it's until not until he's no longer satisfied will that happiness go away but it's It's an attack on your faith. It's an attack on who are you going to choose. Because I know that there's a lot of anger. And very easily, if I wasn't right with God um, during my marriage or during my, my happy times as a family, um, I wouldn't be here right now talking to you guys. I'd be in an institution probably. But my faith has been wavered, but it hasn't changed. I still choose to love, and I still choose to do what God's commanded me to do. And that is what my pastor was talking about today, is that love is a choice. And, uh, you know, if you're not right with God, he says you need to be right with God. And, it, and build up your faith and prepare for the trials and tribulations when you're in the good times. Before the trial appears. Because it's your faith that's going to get you through those, those trials. And it's amazing how God has gotten me through my trial. My trial of my divorce. I mean, I'm still hurting, of course. My kids are still in pain and hurting. But my faith has been strong and nothing has changed. I am still focused on God and what he wants me to do with my life. I'm still choosing to love my husband because God has told me to. I have some friends who think I'm just crazy for loving him. They say I shouldn't love my husband because of how he's treated me, but if God's telling me to still love him, I need to love him. But I look at these videos and I realize that the love was one way. It was me doing all the love. Like my 19 year old said, mom, what have you gotten out of this marriage? What did he ever do for you? He didn't even buy my wedding ring. He never dated me. When he proposed, he didn't have a ring. I had to go pick out my own ring, and we had no money, so we just went to Walmart, got a cheap wedding ring set, and then further into our marriage, I went and bought my own wedding ring. Actually, just a couple years ago, I bought a new one, because my fingers had gotten fat, and I needed a bigger size ring. But, you guys, it's, it's a spiritual warfare. And marriage is hard. Keeping family together is hard. And it has to be both of you, the husband and the wife, who wants to keep the family together. 
you both have to choose love. And like I said, if my husband was right with God, he'd be right with me. So I don't need to ask the why anymore. I know the why things have happened, why I'm divorced. But I'm looking at these videos and I'm seeing the change. I see the change from the very beginning of the videos. Not the quality of the video because they're all bad quality. Like I said, I'm teaching myself how to use YouTube. But it's the... Uh, It's the choice of, of loving is what it comes down to. But what my pastor's title of his sermon was today is you're not alone. So if you're going through a divorce as a single mom, if you're going through a, a divorce um, and it was something that you didn't want, like with me, and you can't control it, Trust me, there's a reason. There's a reason why. And maybe God's protecting you of something that you can't see that's happening. And, um, you know, there's a point where God will turn someone over to a reprobate mind. He already says that in his word. There's going to be people who are left behind after the church. Um goes to heaven and those people are gonna say but God I, I I knew you I call I said that you were you know God but they didn't have that relationship they didn't have that choice of love for God in their heart and if they don't choose God, um, to love God, how are they going to ever love anybody else? They can't. It's all about self gratification and, and satisfaction. That's all it is. And Satan has won. Satan has won in dividing up our family. And God allowed it to happen. I don't even need to question why. He allowed it to happen to protect us. From the evilness. And I felt that evilness. In my house. It was sudden. But I knew it was there. So I'm just making this video to, you know, let you guys know that you're not alone. Other people are struggling. Marriages are falling apart. Families are being broken. Children are being misled on so much because of examples of the men or, or even the women their mothers and fathers. And uh, there's a huge spiritual battle going on in this world. And I just want you guys to know you're not alone. And I want Blessed Be the Gift channel to be the channel that we talk about the struggles of being a single parent, having faith in God, doing what's right, choosing love. I've got so many ideas running through my head of things I want to do for my business. Uh, blessed be the gift business. And I pray that God will uh, use me to help other people. I'd love to help other people in my community, in my city, and the schools. And I am praying that God will use me. 
here on YouTube. I know, again, my videos qualities are horrible and I'm working on it. I'm trying to teach myself how to be better at YouTube and... But... You know, it's a growing process. It really is. Life is a growing process and I'm growing. And I'm not alone. And you're not alone. So continue watching my videos. I need your your love and your support. Please like, share, subscribe. And we're going to get through this life together. Believers, women, single women who are Christians. Keep the faith. God bless.